Hello folks, welcome to another edition of Bluffers to Buffers. My name's Bob. And I'm Ben. And in this episode, Bobby, we've got a layout update. <clears throat> now I'm looking forward to this because, believe it or not, I don't really ever see the layout because it's at Ben's house and I've been banned from going around there. <laughs> so I just get to watch videos. <laughs> so explain to me what you've been up to, Ben. Well, now, <clears throat> what we're seeing on the screen at the minute, Bob, is... This is how it was, I think, when we did the first video introducing the layout. Yeah. <clears throat> and basically, I'm going to be getting rid of that bit at the back. But because you don't get to use, have as many running sessions as you might like, or I certainly don't anyway, I took this opportunity to drive the uh, locos and what have you out rather than um, just pick Basically, them up. having a jolly. Have a little bit of a jolly. A little yeah. bit of a jolly. Which um, is fair enough, that's what these model railways are for. Well, exactly. So, we've got the blue one out. Yeah, the little shunter there, look. Um, oh, see, so that was a tease, because I thought he was going to get Mallard out. No. No. No, he's going off over there somewhere. Look at that. Cut. S continuous, seamless <laughs> edit there. Um, Not <coughs> quite Martin Scorsese spec No, yet. this is actually trimmed down heavily, and already it's quite... <laughs> <laughs> I think if we weren't talking okay. over Another it... Another smooth. <laughs> so... Basically, what's happening is he's taking them carriages away. Oh, look, the green ones. We chatted about these, didn't we, in a previous video? We did, yeah. Also, another cut there, because what wow. you didn't see is I actually pushed them all off the edge of the <laughs> <laughs> Crash. Yeah, very much so. Alright. So, anyway, there you go. The, the, uh, so, they're going to go off to pastures new. They're going off around the, around the other side. Basically, <coughs> I should probably explain. The reason I'm doing this is because at the back there, underneath that, that section with the retaining walls, it's two tracks that goes into one. Um, so on the left hand side of the screen you've got a single bit of track, on the right hand side of the screen you've got a double track. What I wanted was two loops all the way around the, the shed, um, but because of the way I constructed that um, bit of scenery at the back, you wouldn't get two tracks out because it's literally a single track exit. Because this was previous to you wanting to do this two is, tracks. This is it's escalated, basically. It was originally just going to be a corner layout, fronty, backy, you know, end to end. And then I thought, no, it's nice to see them go round and round. Yeah, so it's an evolution. Yeah. But, unfortunately, the evolution means we've got to lose that whole bit of scenery at the back, which is it's, probably it's the most creative <laughs> bit of scenery in the whole... Uh, I should say, it's not like we spent loads of time on yeah. that. <laughs> but it's practice, isn't it? Yep. Um... It served its purpose. Uh, for me, it was ruined, Bob, when you said, "Well, they wouldn't have built a factory <laughs> that, like, on a on a on a what? bridge or whatever, directly over." I was only thinking about the foundations, but, well, then no, this... but this is the stuff that bothers me. I can't. I struck, even though this it's, isn't a prototype. It's a model railway, Ben. Yeah, you but can make it whatever you want it to be. If you want spaceships and aliens, then I so be it. I understand that, but. Even though it's not prototypical or anything like that, I struggle with putting things that I can't work out if there's any reason why it would be there or not. Right. So from the moment you said, how is there a factory on top of a bridge? But for me, it was the writing was on the wall. <laughs> it's like, he's right. So it's got probably a scale of, what, a foot. But you could say that was in the distance. Yeah, but it didn't look in the distance, did it? So basically what I'm saying is you ruined it for me, so that's why I've had to spend well, all this that, time and money sorting it out. That is life, and this is how yeah. our relationship is, I guess. Seems that way. Ooh, um, ooh, look at me, look what I've done, that's wrong. Brilliant. <laughs> Look at that, carefully lifting that up. So you're going to save that for I'm gonna prosperity? It, the problem is, it's quite big, mm -hmm. and it's now somewhere else. I can't remember I'll tell you what, maybe if we ever do a... Uh, a railway layout that we take to shows we could use it for that we probably won't use it for that I probably would have got rid of it by then I was just trying to find a positive for no, you no thanks so up the back there <coughs> oh look there's a shunter going through is that doing on the main line up the back there you see you've got the two lines but they can't wear about where the end of that has he lost a carriage I don't, oh, I don't know is that like basically having a scooter on the motorway? Basically, yeah. It's like... I was going to say something derisory about your car then, but I'm not going <laughs> to... <laughs> no, please go ahead. No, I shan't. 
I'm so well, that, uh, that was all, you didn't see any of that track, so there's no ballast there, it's uh, not even entirely properly fixed down, but you don't need to worry too much about that when it's off scene, so to speak. However, because now it is going to be seen, mm -hmm. um, we will address that later on in this video. I don't know what I'm up to now. Relaxing? Probably, having a little sit down, cup of tea. Here we go. Here we are. Merchant look. Navy's on its way out. Gracefully. Now we were having a discussion off video earlier when we were talking about what we're going to do in this video. Yeah. And you said that was a nicer train or locomotive, one should say, than Mallard. For me, I prefer how it looks. I know. I think the um, A4s, Mallard, etc. They're a handsome loco. Don't get me wrong. I just prefer the lines. Resources for courses, I get specifics. it. Specifically, those early ones where they sort of it sort of continues down at the front. Where, <clears throat> you? Mallard's but better though. Not many. Well, when you say that, not many of them have that continued fairing down. Them. But just for me, I just think it's a maybe because it's quirky. That's so graceful. It's graceful. <laughs> To be fair, I do actually quite like both as well, so... Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Compared to that Q1... Well, don't you like that? We had this discussion in the previous video that it is it is what it is, and that's... Yeah. I think you've fallen for it more than I have. Yeah, I definitely have. So, here's the... I think at this point I've already gone to two lines that I, I, I don't know what I did with the filming for that. But then I got keen and thought, oh, there's a bit of extra space there. We can whack some sidings in, so just uh, sizing it up there, look, using an old set of points. A bit of flexi track. That's where I put it. You did ask earlier, and it's there for now. Excellent. And um, yeah, this is a whistle stop guide to putting points in, nice. to inserting some points in. As you can see, using the same method mentioned in the previous video. The old sharpie. There you go. You know what happens when you drill the holes, don't you? What? The, it makes a Get continuous out. black line. <laughs> <laughs> As discussed in previous videos. You're right, yeah. <laughs> You've been paying attention. I have. So drilling a hole there for the, the um, point motor operation. All the points are controlled with DCC concept cobalts, which are digitally controlled. It does get a bit confusing at times, so <clears throat> on my to-do list is have like the levers because uh, they do some really cool like levers to operate it. I've got them, I just haven't got around to making up the whole shooting match. In fact we didn't show that in the previous video that if you are doing um, points that you've got to drill a hole. Yeah well do you know what I was going to do uh, how to fit points Okay. video at some point I know you can't wait for that. I was going to say riveting. But it may help someone less fortunate than us. Well, it's all part of the learning process, isn't it? I think <clears throat> there's a few techniques that I employ that make make life a bit easier that I didn't know until I'd watched a video, Bob, on the internet. No, so no, this is this in is fact, it. a couple of them I didn't even watch a video. I made it up myself. Not saying that no one else did it, but I thought of it with my brain. You are a clever lad, though, Thanks. aren't you, sometimes? That's all I want. <laughs> Literally all of this is just to get your <laughs> approval. <laughs> no, we, we don't need to do any more now. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> well, thanks very much for watching. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Then. One set of points will turn out. I don't know. I think they're supposed to be called turnouts. I don't know. Anyway, one set of them yep. into the track. Tried it with a loco. Didn't work first time. Here she goes again after I fixed Not the problem. Okay. Mint. What was the problem? I can't remember. It didn't work. Okay. So, uh, chopping out a bit of that scenery, I'd only used some foam with some plaster cloth over the top, so it modifies easy. Here we go, just, it's a, <coughs> the idea was it's going to be a storage siding, so proximity to the main line's not that much of an issue. Um, but obviously, you saw there, I double checked that we're going to have the room. That's what they say, isn't it? 
<laughs> Double check to make sure you got <laughs> yeah. the room. Make sure three times. Oh, that cut classic to save. Three. So, and at the end there, I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to put another set of points so you can have a little stable in for a shunter or not to bother. Because uh, I started making that tin hut thing that was supposed to be abandoned, so it might get used, it might not. The big, a big issue I have with this whole thing. I'm so easily distracted. I go up there and think, Joe, what I'm going to do this today? Yeah. And nine times out of ten, I've got to tidy up from all the mess I left from the last time I was in there. And I pick something up and I think, ooh. <laughs> I go, <laughs> go over and do that. I think, no, I'm still not doing what I came up here to do. So then I put all the stuff away. But no, get something else. Ooh. I don't know. Do you think doing these videos gives you a bit of. It's, it helped a bit because I kind of think now, well, this is what I want to achieve for this video. But even them. There's a lot of procrastinating. I mean, I can be up there, uh, I can lose hours and achieve nothing because I'm just thinking. I don't even actually achieve anything in thinking. Just like... Well, you probably do, though, in fairness. Well, I can't. I find it hard to commit to doing something, if you know what I mean, because once it's done, it's too late, isn't it? Like, well, yeah, a, yeah, I guess. And I'm getting the ump of doing things 13 times because I haven't done them right. Like the station, for example. We'll come to that in a minute. So, I've... Use the old wiring technique. Who's that? No? It's passage of time there. I've, uh, um, I've, I forgot to film some stuff. So, <coughs> what are we going to do now, Bob? Yep. <laughs> I just realised I did something that I was not supposed yeah. to do, didn't I? Yeah. Sorry. What I'm going to do now <laughs> is a, just a quick way of getting a bit of weathering on the tracks. So just give them a dusting over with brown paint. I'm just using humble, humble brown acrylic. Dries quickly. Yeah. And as if by magic, we're now ready to lay some ballast. How do you clean the track? Because obviously you put paint on it now. I've got like a uh, basically a, a, a block, like a little sanding block. Yeah, type kind of. Basically, oh, right. it's a gauge master track cleaning block. You just run it over the top of the rails. I suppose it's only got a dusting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But the point is you get some you get some brown paint on there, it's half weathered. The only problem is now we've skipped straight to ballast in this backtrack and you can see I'm brushing the hypnotically brushing the ballast into the sleepers. But <clears throat> the acrylic paint then scratches off quite easily. We go over and dust again then. Well, so what I will eventually do is get the airbrush on there and weather it in oh, properly. But you, gosh. but in doing it with the aerosol, you have got that dirty colour on the side of the rails, which is a good start, if you know what I mean. It's these little things that kind of make it, though, isn't it? It runs, I mean, shiny track everywhere. Yeah. I mean, I will get on there and give it a real good weathering, because the same with everything else it's going to be... Um, downtrodden is that the word I'm looking for not very yeah. well maintained yeah grimy <coughs> real grimy yeah it's, do you know what I prefer watching this than doing it this is sped up though you know that didn't yeah you? I'm aware of that I sped it up <laughs> <laughs> but it's just I don't know and ballast <clears throat> from what I can see when you go online mm. There's lots of types of colour, size, blah, blah, blah. Is there a particular favourite that you've got? Um, I'm really liking what I'm using there is from Goodwood Scenics. Um, I, I, I just like it. I, the Sounds like a quality product. It's good, yeah. The I mean, there are, you'll get people who say that the OO gauge, or double O gauge ballast, medium ballast, whatever you want to call it, is too big for OO gauge being prototypical and some of the really like nice layouts where they use the end gauge stuff because it's smaller and finer I don't have a problem with how it looks to be honest I, I, I think it looks alright maybe that's not how it should look in real life but it, it looks good so I'm happy with that same old rules isn't it your layout your rules or whatever they say So the ballasting fast forward there, um, I've gone for a couple of different shades because you don't always see it all the same, 
in my mind, this darker stuff's maybe older than. You know, if you were telling a story of the layout, this darker stuff's been in longer. Or I might just be talking nonsense. What I was going to say when we we've, we've been to model, uh, not model, when we've been to real life railways, yeah. like our local heritage things, Bluebell. Mm. Um, you got some new ballast there, and the ballast is some of it's quite granite and big, isn't it? You yeah. know, it's not as small as you may well think. No. So what I'm doing here, I'm trying to just, I wanted the track or the sidings here that I've put in to appear to have been um, unloved. Unloved, and what's the word I'm looking for? Taken back by nature. You know, it's the kind of deteriorating into the. But they're not used that often. Literally, we're gonna have a couple of the old scrap locos that are gonna go on there, which in itself causes a problem, Bob, because our uh, technique for uh, only doing the crowd side is somewhat. Um, <laughs> no, that's what. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's what. Don't tell anyone. For. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> um, we can tarpaulin it up. It's fine. Because you might. Uh, Somewhere down the line, there's some footage you may notice. I've had to turn the case depending on what. <laughs> anyway, so, just getting some air dry clay in there. <clears throat> I felt like I was being rushed with this stuff, so I only did one side for you. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um, we have actually had a request for a how to video on scrap locomotives. Have we? Well, do you want to do I, that? Or? Well, I have got, I've got a diesel. Yeah. I think it's a Western. Is it a Western I've got? I think it is. And I've got an engine. Yeah. So I was kind of thinking that I may cut the side out of it, make a framework, make it look like it's part restorations, maybe red oxide it, that kind of thing. Crack on so it. rather than having a real dirty logo or something else. People, people want to know. We can do that. Well, it's Christmas time, Santa might bring me a GoPro and then I can do it. Well, I use my phone. So you don't need a GoPro. Anyway. So for us all to look forward I to. I want to go prone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, whatever. Um, so now just whacking some brown paint. It's literally a tester pot from home base. I did get a really good colour of brown, which I used for all the pathway and they can see colour by the map. Yeah. I can't remember what I did with the pot or what colour it was, so this is just some sort of brown. But you got, you're not really going to see any of this anyway, because it's going to be a couple of grass or oil or something. <laughs> And again, what I've done is forgotten to film some other bits, but at this point, a lot of the clay has, and the paint, the brown paint you've seen has got some green and black and what have you scatter on there, uh, which is, you know, that green stuff, fine yeah. stuff. So what I'm going to do now is just get some static grass on there, which... So is this I love PVA the or grass, is so it's it? Great. This is Mod Podge, which is right. a posh kind of PVA, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. Dries matte. I love the static glass. Yeah, for me, it's it's a really cool effect, especially. It's very realistic. Yeah, I mean, the applicator is probably a bit posher than usual. It's the one that I use for flocking dashboards of cars, but um, it does the job, and I think the effect is good. You get sometimes you have to layer it up with the cheaper one, whereas that gets a good thick coating of flock straight away. And do you do a mix of colours? I the do. Grass? Yeah, I do. So this is this is the most recent footage. Skip forward a while. So yeah, it's. Um, I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, so I just wasn't really filmed any making. I, mean, I think it looks all right, especially yeah, poured good. concrete. Still a work in progress. So it's not at the end of it, like all of it. But it's just a kit that you bought. No, no, it's, uh, it's from. It's like foam. Board, I suppose you'd call it, so it's foam between two bits of paper with the paper peeled off. Oh, right, okay. And then just painted and weathered up from there. So I think it's getting towards the right effect. We'll see. Once I get some weathering on the track, I'll get some weathering, more weathering on the retaining walls. And it'll hopefully, look all right. So this is the, um, the baseboard. Not a lot's changed this side of the retaining wall there, but I think the overall appearance now you've lost that wall and what have you. I think it kind of works. It's opened it up, isn't it? Yeah. It reminds me of like a just kind of a yard area. Well, that's exactly what it is. 
I think that I'm sure it might be a little bit of around the back of being Q's in Wimbledon. They had oh, yeah. like a sort of an area where they had carriages and oh, stuff they? and yeah, just random stuff. Really. Probably wasn't random. It no. probably there for a reason. I don't know. No. So at the end of the retaining wall. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of this I'm going to run a, a wooden fence along just to tidy that up I probably think I'm going to change the back scene as well because I'm not sure that works or does it I don't think it kind of looks like the sort of thing that would be behind a concrete retaining wall if that makes sense yeah have a look see what's out there mm, well I did see I went on the train the other day and actually because I was worried that maybe it was too close to the oh you could have like a sea backdrop on that side <laughs> <laughs> well, no I was worried it was kind of too close to the locomotives of the past three but actually there was a couple of bits on the way into London it was really really close to the retaining right. wall and that was it was just overgrown and dirty and you've been doing some reconnaissance yeah standard nice um, but obviously because I was so close to the retaining wall couldn't see what was <laughs> <laughs> I'm fairly sure it was if just If it was tree. London, I can pretty much guarantee it'd it be was, detritus yeah, or buildings yeah. or... So, I'm not sure this layout is based in London, though. But... No. My point is, maybe just trees should be behind there or maybe something more urban. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> so, after our little unboxing video... on the back of the lorry? That's Father Christmas. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not even going any further with this conversation. Right, fair enough. On the back of yeah, the unboxing video we did the other day, you were yeah. memories of Network South East that wasn't Network South East. But it was Network and South crusts, East. Which isn't even a thing. <laughs> Upper crust. I, got, I got the multiple <laughs> unit out there just to... Nice. Just and there's the... This, I'm torn on this station, Bob. I might have to sack it off and start again and again. But if I could find an operational reason for that being as it is that track layout I'll get rid of the platforms and build a station somewhere else so if anyone's got any suggestions of well, how that might work you can still keep the back platform because there's not a lot else you can do there and just have it as like a a passing station mm. but I still think you'd need a platform here where the buildings are you know in the middle there not necessarily you could put anything in there and just have that why would, it, why, would a, why would a train only stop on one line though as in, why would it only stop on the up line, for example, and not on the down? <coughs> Again, it stems down to the fact I don't know enough about all this. So, uh, <laughs> My silence speaks yeah. for you, so I don't know, just trying to... Yeah. But this thing comes back to the whole thing of why you've ripped most of it out in the exactly. past, because it doesn't work. Cause, well, and because I'm not... Yeah, it's, there's, yeah. If it... It's got to have a reason to be like it is for it to qualify in my brain. As being you're not okay. happy with it, so that won't stay in there because no. I know you. Yeah, you're and that right. will so be basically gone. Basically, we're going to get another station. But <laughs> I just need someone to tell me what I could put in its place that's going to be, you know, would be there for a reason. So, fueling depot, a maybe? good yard. But we've got a good, we've got a yard, haven't we? Got a fueling depot. Yeah, there's a fueling point at the right. So maybe some sort of factory here. Mm. Yeah. Maybe that could be the scrapyard location. Okay, maybe. It's a bit complicated for what would be a scrapyard, well, but I like a metal processing plant. That's what I mean, yeah. Like a, I think maybe a factory. that's just a posh scrapyard. Yeah, maybe <laughs> a factory could work. Okay, that's food for thought. See, this is good, we're doing this. We're, we're good. If anyone we're else doing has got it kind of live, though, yeah. to people. Yeah, you're all part of the decision making process. <laughs> <laughs> um, Here's just a bit of that new section, just st sticking down some uh, detritus, as it were, a couple of old speed signs. So that's already come together lovely, isn't it? Yeah, I'm quite pleased with how that's looking. Get a bit more rubbish in there. In realistic terms, how long is... What is that again? How long has this realistically <laughs> taken you to do? Um, not a huge amount of time. Only, you know, Three, it's been a four month. hours? No, more than that. More than probably that. about six, seven hours t total work. Right, cool. It's not finished, like I said, because I need to wear for the track. Bob's got a new pose. Well, I expect he's unhappy like I am that there's a Santa Claus on the track. Yeah, so close to the main line as well. It's like, what are you doing there? What? Oh, wow. Here's, just to finish this off, Bob, a little lap of the layout. This is like Doom 3D. It's exactly like that, but with trains. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> at this point, perhaps if you want to, um, perhaps we should round up, really. Yeah, definitely. Uh, hopefully what? everyone's enjoyed this 
nonsensical whim things as much as any other video. Um, as you can see, a little bit of progress has been made. Past the door. Yeah, just watching this. If people wanted to follow us on other types of social oh, media, where would they be looking? Okay, so yeah, you can follow us on uh, at RKE Junction or Red Knob End Junction, that's on Facebook and Instagram. And, and what would we really like them to do if they were watching this on YouTube right now? If you're watching on YouTube right now, on Bluffers to Buffers, could you subscribe yeah, and, like. and give it a little like and give us a bit of feedback. Are we winning at this game? Are you hating it? What would you like to see more of? Um, have a guess at Ben's favourite colour? Anything really, just, just so we know people are out there. Anyway, I've been Bob. I've been Ben, and uh, thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Bye. The video seems to still be going. A little bit. It's nearly finished. Right. This is a nice bit. That, that 37 has had to start before Christmas is up and running. Again. Which is now Trains are delayed. Santa on the line. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> <laughs>